this video we are going to talk about cubic 2 cubic 2 is used to create a cubic bezier curve cubic 2 is almost similar to conic 2 but it has two control points in conic 2 we had only one control point which is used to control the curve similarly we have two control points which are used to control two separate curves which are a part of big curve which will get created by using the cubic 2 method okay so what we are going to do we are going to start our curve from here and it will end here and uh, the curve will become like this it will go here like this and it will go somewhat like this okay so to control this shape we will use uh, other control point and to control this one shape this shape we are going to use other control point okay so what we are going to do first we need to move our starting point to size dot height by 2 okay then what we are going to do we are going to use cubic 2 so cubic cubic 2 takes three pairs of points x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 so x1 y1 is the control point for this curve x2 y2 is the control point for this curve okay and uh, x3 y3 is the ending point where the curve will end okay so we are going to give this control point a value of 0 size dot height by 8 so the total value would be here 50 because we are we are passing 400 here so the value would be 50 here and uh, the value for the other control point which is x2 y2 will be size dot height and size dot width see we have to write width here and height here also our ending point would be size dot width and size dot height by 2 so this point will lie here and this control point will lie here and uh, this control point will lie somewhat here okay so this is how you can use cubic 2 so now we can jump to the relative cubic 2 part so this is going to be little bit tricky because we are going to create same curve but with the different values because as we have seen in the previous videos it's the new points these points are going to be in relation with the previous points okay this point is also going to be in relation with this point and also this point is going to be in relation with this point okay so to change values according to these points so earlier we were using size dot height by 2 here so now we have to put 0 why 0 because size dot height by 2 plus 0 will give us size dot height by 2 that's why we have written 0 here also instead of using size dot height directly here we need to pass size dot height half 
so size dot height half plus size dot height half will become size dot height also we need to pass uh, we need to use 50 here so the value should be 50 here but uh, to get this value we need to use a formula and that formula would be size dot height by 8 minus size dot height by 2 also we need to add minus here y minus so you will get value 150 after you solve this you will get a value 150 and uh, we need to move backward so we need to move backward from this point so that's why we need to append that's why we have appended negative here so it will become minus 150 and the size dot height is actually 200 so it will give us a value of 200 minus 150 it will give a value of 50 so this is how you can use relative cubic 2 and cubic 2 to learn more about path custom paint and flutter advance you can subscribe to our channel see you in the next video